welcome back to another episode of last day not last day jurassic survival my god i just recorded last day video i apologize and welcome to the new update 1.1 points one points one that, that's a lot of one did i get, did I get it right yeah it, it doesn't say the update here but it did come unfortunately it didn't come with anything super crazy but it was a new update nonetheless some of the notable things uh, i believe that it added in was like optimizations a couple of things like that but apparently uh one of the literal update notes was that uh you can get the raw resources two for one right now now why why would you possibly want the raw resources as a two for well it's because a lot of the resources you can get out of this are actual resources needed for the wall so potentially they're just trying to incentivize and give players another avenue to acquire the necessary materials to get some work on the wall something that we ourselves are taking part in right now as well you can see here we have loaded up a little bit on transistors blue tape wiring a couple of weapons a couple of clothes i suppose but they're all about to break really soon anyway we're gonna make a quick pit stop over here because uh a we kind of have to because we're about to run out of energy anyway so might as well put the energy to use and uh b to get a daily free dog tag if you guys don't know about that make sure you're stopping by up north here a little bit to get that daily free dog tag because if you are well every day you get a dog tag every dog tag you enter the battle royale arena every time you enter the arena you know what you get? Oh, you get something marvelous. You get something beautiful, Sunny Jimba. You get a chance at a top three prize. Some of these puppies right here, I think from my dude Hyde. Yeah, check out what you can get. And apparently with this update, they did totally reskin a ton of weapons. It looks like a lot of weapons before. Like you can see, their new skins are looking very purdy. And actually, I feel like they match the whole Jurassic Survival aesthetic slash feel a lot more. So that wasn't really noted in the update notes. But that is something that has changed with this update. You guys can even see uh, in our hand, the shotgun's looking really different. Melee weapons didn't really change, but uh, ranged weapons did. And... I don't really have any other ranged weapons to show off though because we kind of all just take them and use them at the wall So sorry that I can't really show off anymore uh, there, but they have changed the skin, which is pretty freaking awesome And a potentially a sign of I don't know more weapons to come What do you guys think about that hypothesis? I, I don't know maybe maybe not I feel like they got the weapons and they did the reskinning and I, it's a good sign of them taking things seriously though I, I don't know it's it, it's hard to understand why but I just it is a good sign that they are doing like kind of those like small detail type of things, you know, along with big picture stuff like the wall and whatnot. Just a ton of awesomeness happening. And uh, this is where we do need to purchase ourselves 25 coins worth of traveling energy. And from that, we will make our way. Uh, we do have a couple of things there you can see that are probably going to break. But we got a couple of backup clothes. Got a good amount of band-aids i would say you know what we can do why don't we get these band-aids all the way up to 20 you know we can do that we just go ahead and hit on that while there's no other room in our inventory for anything else at all uh we hold up we might want to get ourselves something to munch on as well as a backup because uh, well, our inventory is about to totally fill, not our inventory, we're about to go relatively hungry, so I'll take a couple of these, hopefully we don't have to use them too, why don't we grab the water too, hopefully we don't have to use them though, uh, I, I don't know, hopefully, I, I just, I just hope that we have enough band-aids, long story short, I hope we have enough band-aids, because the last time we did a fight, it was on hard mode, definitely went a little bit easier than all the insane mode we've been doing but now begins the long dive into uh, trying to get some gate three progress done like these guys over here with their electric shockers those things are lasting surprisingly long though i am proud of that they do have a couple of kukris over here that they're going to be utilizing and we are going to be doing some repairs i think over here to the electrical fuse box that is the materials that we got Unfortunately, dude, these it takes a lot of tape, a lot of transistors, a lot of everything, and we only get 10% progress on that. So uh, potentially we'll start working on the elevator after we do a little bit of work here on the fuse box. I don't know. Uh, let's make sure that we get some of that munch munch in there. Let's get some of that hydration as well. Toss those out. We'll probably be hungry after all this goes down. And uh, long story short, let's hope for the best because the best is definitely not going to be coming. If you boys could take on the uh, little guys here, ow! Come on, take it. Use your use your electrical shockers. You guys got this. I'm trying to save my shotgun for actual things. 
that will be hard to kill. I hope that makes sense, you know? I, I, like, when the big bosses come, that's when it comes time for a little bit of shock domain. Like, you guys got those. I'll take a shot on the... Oh, there we go. The Ornioli. He's got to go. Oh, God. We got a lot of Ankies coming our way. Ankies can... All oh, mama. All right, that's a lot of damage being done. The Ankies and this little boss over here, though, they can definitely take that. And, oh, my God, we're naked. Woo, 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 woo. Help me take on some clothes. All right, you done know? You done know? Let's equip a couple of things. All right. And in the hecticness, we're kind of doing okay. We've only used three band-aids. Still got some dudes coming for us. You guys can take out the little babies. I'll work on the big babies, on the dinos and whatnot. And come on, I, we, I softened them up for you there. I don't want to use my shotgun, dude. These band-aids, I, I have more band-aids than I do weapons right now. So I'm definitely trying to uh, finesse these dudes into doing most of the work. We're right around a fourth, maybe a third of the way. This is where the going really starts to get tough. That's a big velociraptor. That's a lot of just stuff in general. This is a lot of big ticket enemies too i know i know do these guys still do friendly fire against each other i hope they do because if not that could be bad for us come on get to work get rid of that velociraptor and marvelous what are we halfway right about halfway we still got about 12 band-aids still pretty naked things are going good velociraptor soften them up a bit i am not softening up orniolis not worth it at all we are very naked aren't we we are hmm. and our shotgun's gonna break soon too as long as these guys' electrical shockers last a little bit longer, and I mean, they are gonna be moving on to some bigger ticket items soon, too. They got a kukri as soon as this stuff breaks, so honestly, even after the electrical shock- Yeah, one of them already switched over, dude. This is actually a great sign, because they're gonna start doing even more damage than before. We're already halfway through our band-aids, but we're pretty much two-thirds of the way through that. We got a ton of these dudes dead. Can't wait to pick up whatever trophies they might have for us. Soften the blows a bit, and I- No, 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 this is not good. This is the part where you guys do most of the work, because I literally have nothing. There you go. I, I will do the distraction. Don't worry. I'm a good distraction, dude. I went to distraction school. Got a master's degree in distractology. Uh, I think we still got like two or so more waves here. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to equip at least a wrench so I can fight back. I will not stand idly by and watch my fellas be taken away from me. I don't know. I mean, they're not really being taken away. They can't die. Oh, oh no. I those dudes were like inside of each other. That was weird. I thought that they were one and I'm just like, what did, did, oh no, 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 that almost got bad. Yeah, I thought they were one and I'm like, what the hell, where'd my guy go? This, he's ain't, he ain't here. Oh, marvelous. This is exactly the damage we needed. A, a stack of band-aids was more than enough to survive. Now we just got to survive that last wave with the ankylosaur that's going to get sent at us. Shouldn't be too bad, and we have a whole ton of boss corpses to look into. Hopefully get some weapons out of man. You guys, you guys know that there are a lot of weapons to be found, and we are at 20% on the fuse box. So if we work non-stop on the fuse box in a week, pretty much, uh, we're gonna be good to go on this puppy. So I'd say next Sunday, possible, we'll be looking good. And oh, 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 we're already looking mighty fine with some of the stuff we got here. Let's consolidate some inventory room. Make sure we combine stuff when necessary. Hydrate a little bit. Make sure you boys stay hydrated. Totally random. And girls too. Boys and girls. Drink that agua. All right. Very important. Just wanted to give you guys a friendly reminder. That's actually a reminder to myself. I gotta drink some water very soon as well. Been a while since I had my last swig, you know? Ooh. See, we're not doing too great in terms of the stuff that matters, though, which is, like, guns and stuff. We're actually kind of lackluster right now. I'm not getting a lot of guns out of these guys, and... Yeah, I, I wonder if this update, like, nerfed the amount of guns they give, because we got no guns out of any of those. We did get some... I mean, we got some pretty solid armor, don't get me wrong, and good amount of trophies and all that. But uh, nothing too crazy, so, uh, you know what we might do is we're gonna wait here for the next day, but I'm thinking we're gonna wait for the next day to happen, we'll get that extra dog tag, it'll give us five dog tags, we'll spend a little bit of time in the Battle Royale arena, hopefully try to get a couple of top three finishes, get some weapons, maybe even some armor, because I know we can win armor from there, even medical supplies, because, I mean, we still got a couple of band-aids and mangoes and pineapples and canned food and... We got a lot of edible stuff. Ooh, and military trousers. We got an okay amount of stuff, but definitely not enough to just keep on living up here, you know? Which I like to do. I like This is like my home away from home. We just got to make sure to have the resources, and I think we need more blue tape anyways. And transistors, but I don't have more blue tape, so we might even need to dive on into that raw resources thing and kind of partake in this update. But honestly, dude, if it's two for one, 
now's the time. But uh, with that, that will do it for today. Fast forward to my version of tomorrow. And we return everybody to Jurassic Survive. I hope you guys have been uh, doing super swell in those past couple of seconds right there. Day for me, a couple of seconds for you guys. We are back, and as we continue our coverage with the 1.1 update, and given a couple of the things that it did change, I thought, all right, perfect time for us to dive in and do a little bit of a related unboxing. What do I mean by that? Well, here we got the raw resources, the big thing that was part of the 1.1.1 update, I believe. Yeah, this was one of the big points was that this is a two for one. So we got these boxes two for one, boys. Big deal. Without further ado, let's start opening them. I thought I clicked open and it didn't work. Let's start opening them because the very useful thing about these boxes is that if you scroll through the left there, they have a great opportunity of having some of the materials we actually require to repair the wall. So it's a little bit of a double whammy in that sense, along with some really useful items as well, like med kits, band-aids. So you can see pineapple a little bit of food all that type of jazz no arm or anything like that but nonetheless it still does give us some stuff that will be very helpful in our pursuit of bringing gate three back up to code because right now it is definitely below code like if the city inspector showed up a I'm pretty sure that they're dead but B there also isn't really a city nearby but C if they did show up, they would not be very happy with uh, the state of this wall and the elevator and everything. And so far from what we've gotten, we've gotten lucky a couple of times and gotten some good things like the cog wheels are one thing that we need. Duct tape, transistors, wiring would all be useful as well. We haven't gotten duct tape like once yet though. It was actually really poopy because we do need a couple of duct tape and I don't think we're going to get this duct tape at this rate. Well, well, would you look at that? I guess luck isn't really in our favor in terms of raw resources. Nah, no buzzer beater, but we should have all the materials needed to at least get a repair going. We also smell absolutely awful, but uh, yeah, we do not have enough tape. We need 18. I got five in my inbox. We could have enough transistors and stuff, but I think we're going to be short on pretty much everything else because we only have, if we could get over hither. Wherever here, there's five duct tape to our name. However, we could always, uh, we should be able to do this on insane mode. We literally got 10 cog wheels. We got bolts. We got scraps. So potentially the elevator will be seeing some repair today. I think that that might be a good idea, but also as a part of the unboxing, I wanted to get a couple of rare weapon crates, not because they're discounted, but because you can see the weapons we can acquire from this are very, very useful for this update because uh, A, we need them for the gate, and B, they all look so marvelous, so pretty, so new, aren't they so good? And uh, there's also, if we do take a sneak peek, I don't know if I showed this to you guys yet, but there's the reinforced weapons, and you can see some of the new skinned weapons there, and dude, the new skins definitely look awesome. But without further ado, let's head on over that inbox, and let's see if maybe this will be a little bit kinder to us, and maybe we'll get some guns to kick things off. That's exactly what we needed. Thank you for not melee weapons, even though we definitely just got a melee weapon. I don't actually mind the axe. I'm pretty sure that thing does like 55 damage. It's pretty good. Even like these melee weapons, all things considered, are pretty good melee weapons. And getting some Thompsons aren't bad either. I don't think our luck's going to be good enough to get... Never mind. I was about to say to get some of the better guns. Uh, we just got some of the better guns. So what? What? Hopefully we keep on getting guns though. I love guns a lot more than melee weapons because oh, I can put them to use a lot better than the melee weapons. Although we could give the melee weapons. Let's go over to the uh, helpers, of course. But can I get an MG? Maybe one, one MG. May, maybe do me some good game. Do me some good. Give me the machine gun. Ah, oh, no, we got another Tommy gun, but. All things considered, pretty solid haul. I'm pretty sure that we could definitely go for some pants and that hat that we had in there. So let's actually grab some of those before we decide to dive in knee deep into the bloody cesspool that this is about to become. Probably want to get some more band-aids as well. Those will probably come in pretty handy. We should have a solid amount of band-aids after all that. Let's definitely grab the cog wheels. We're going to want bolts. And I think the last thing we need is just scrap. Scrap shouldn't be too rare though, and there are the band-aids. We're getting a good amount of those. Uh, we should have a good amount of scrap metal as well, so we should be able to get a repair going. We do have the melee weapon in our hand. Uh, let's also move those band-aids over there. 
And let's see, what do you guys have here? He has that. Okay, I'm gonna give you a wrench there, kind sir. I, I hope you're a plumber or something, or you know how to use this, because I sure as hell don't. And uh, that'll probably come in handy. We're also getting kind of hungry. So hopefully we have like three, maybe. I don't want to grab an entire stack of stuff. I was thinking, there we go. Just the three canned foods, because I don't want to have too much stuff in my inventory here. And I just want to be able to toss out this last one. Health, health wise, we're good. Hunger wise, we're good. Thirst wise, we're good. Not being naked, we're good. Let's just grab a Tommy gun here that we can utilize through our shenanigans. And boys and girls, it's time to begin the repairs and hopefully not die this time. You can see the perfect amount of almost everything except the bolts. So we're definitely gonna have to come back here with more cog wheels and stuff. But plus 14 to the elevator motor. You can't go wrong with that, man. That'll bring us up to 28%, which will be great. And hopefully you guys can take out... Come on, work, work on taking out the... Actually, you know what? This is a Tommy gun. This thing doesn't do big damage. It's just like 10 damage at a time. This is the perfect gun for killing enemies because there is like no enemy I know of doesn't end in like a 10. You know what I mean? Every enemy's health, you can divide it by 10, which means we never waste any damage when we're shooting aka this is marvelous this is amazing and holy hell we're shirtless and shoeless no shirts no shoes no service well someone call t-mobile because i need some technical support because i ain't getting the service i require either things are going pretty smooth the tommy oh the tommy gun's also right about halfway uh blown that's not good okay you guys keep taking on the velociraptors i'll focus on the uh, big guys here because that's kind of what i feel like requires the most focusing can you guys please work on the oh mama does that have friendly fire when he does that big move i don't know but okay we didn't have to use too much that time. Our shirt is gone again. So that no shirt, no shoes, no service policy. Like we got pants, we got a hat, but that doesn't matter when we're talking about these things apparently. And marvelous, the double whammy on those things. They should still have their kukris, which do do a pretty good amount of damage. Uh, we don't have any other healing items. Just deal with the Orneolis. Marvelous teamwork. Oh, that's a big guy. We're gonna have to work to get rid of him. Oh no! Let's definitely not get hit by that. Goodbye, Anki. Goodbye, Velociraptor. And the tides continue to turn in our favor. And we're almost done with this. And we didn't even have to use nothing too crazy. Deal with the Dillo. Deal with these guys. I'm saving my gun for the big ticket items and to make sure that we don't smell because we're starting to smell. And there. Oh, mama. Talk about a lot of them. Come on. Okay, there we go. We want to take out the boss, man, while everyone else takes out the little babies. And uh, this Tommy gun should break right near the end of this. It might break a little bit before, but we should have a couple of little baby waves here. I totally trust my team to come on in and uh, clean this stuff up. You guys got this, I believe. There you go, good stuff, good stuff. I don't think they've had to switch to using the wrench yet. I think we have two more waves maybe before everything goes straight down the pooper. There you go, we got the Velociraptor there. I think one of, oh, mama, 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 mia. Here we go again. Mama, I'm about to die. This is not good. Oh my god, that's a lot of dillos. I don't like this and not one bit. Oh no, 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 no. Can you guys please like finish off all these things now before I die? That guy has one health. There we go. There we go. And I think we have the final ankylosaur that the game sends at us. Uh, I believe you guys should be able to uh, take care of him. I'm just going to continue running away. You guys continue hitting that thing. I'm just going to... Oh! The ring around the rosy! Ring around the tent! Ow! Ow! Ring around the tent is not going well for us so far, but... The finishing blow goes on the Anki. We're at 28% on the elevator being repaired. And, oh, ho, 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 we're getting some good weaponry from the loot and a new pair of pantaloons. Absolutely cannot go wrong with how mob. Oh, another one, boys. Remember when I said that, you know, last time that maybe they nerfed this loot so it has less guns? Uh, I think, I don't know, maybe we just got really unlucky because we just got two pretty solid guns right off the bat. And, ooh more trophies to boots as well uh you know we'll take what we can get this stuff i will scrap just because at this point i have a lot of rope and a lot of thread back at home and i just want to make sure that we are not missing any bodies here because sometimes that happens they all these bosses they just get buried underneath each other you know stuff like that uh let's toss you out and with that all of them have been collected the elevator is nice and this guy will be requiring 24 hours of cooldown these guys will probably be requiring uh 
you know what? Why don't I give them the guns? You know, like we, I don't want to use broken guns. I want to use good guns. So you guys, here you go. You earned it. Yeah, let me take down the bosses. So there's your reward. Some guns and stuff that, I don't know, they'll probably just blow through super quickly. So not like it matters too much. But, hey, we're walking out of here with a good, pretty good prize. We got some new pants, a nice shirt, tons of trophies, tons of rewards. And uh, we also do have to make our usual pit stop over by the Battle Royale Arena. We still got a little bit of durability left on this thing. But we just got to make that quick pit stop, grab the dog tags for the day. And then we actually need to go home because we... Definitely need to get some more duct tape because we don't have the duct tape in our inventory And I was hoping to work on the electricity here Even if we don't want to work on electricity We got to go back home to get like cog wheels or something at least so it is gonna take a little bit But we can definitely go to Mad Dog's arena in the meantime here you guys can see we actually got some new recipes which are ooh, We learned how to make the mythical SWAT armor did we? Mm-hmm I like the sound of that. The sound of Uzis, something that isn't craftable until we get steel bars. Hopefully that happens soon, dude. Steel bars especially. I love the hunter's backpack. That seems like a very useful thing. And still though, we do have the ability to craft SWAT armor. And uh, potentially that's something we will start trying to do. But we have arrived at the arena. Let's go. Let's watch an innocent get mowed down. And uh... Yeah, that, that, that's about it. And, oh, and of course, desecrate his body, steal dog tags from him, potentially his clothes, because usually he does have clothes, and uh, the end. All right, this guy doesn't have much in the way of clothes, but he does have a lot in the way of being a dead body. All right, you got me beat on that front, man. I got to give you props there, but might as well take a couple of what he's got and uh, then begin the walk home. And uh, then we shall return in a couple of seconds in a nifty edit with uh, day three of fixing up the electricity slash elevator. We'll, we'll see what parts we have at home. So, uh, yeah, talk to y'all in a sec. And we return, ladies and gentlemen, to watch uh, Jetta over here. Hello, Jetta. How you doing? You're doing quite dead, aren't you? Well, that's all right. Thank you very kindly for the dog tag. And unfortunately, today, day three of our Jurassic survival adventure here. Uh, well, there's a slight issue. Uh, my phone is about to die. So unfortunately, and because we spent a lot of time doing those unboxings, grabbing those weapons uh, in the earlier part of the video, we just got to go, got to head onto the wall as quick as we can. Next time, I promise. Boys and girls, we'll get some more Battle Royales done, especially with all of the dog tags we've been stockpiling. I'm just saying, we got six dog tags ready to go, which should be a lot of stuff coming our way. But I hope your day continues to be absolutely fan freaking fantastic. We got a couple of extra articles of clothing here. We got the rest of that Tommy gun. We got a sledgehammer. We probably want to get like maybe another type of gun here. Something along those lines. Why don't we get another Tommy gun? Or maybe if there's a kookery or a you know what, why don't we roll with the melee a little bit? We've been using guns a lot. So worst case, if our stuff breaks, if our sledgehammer breaks after our Tommy gun breaks, we'll have some backup to roll with here. You can also see we brought the necessary stuff in our inventory. Uh, we just brought that with from the home that we were traveling to last time. So all should be well. And hopefully my phone doesn't die before uh, everything hits the fan. Because spoiler alert, things are about to hit the fan super hard. So these guys, they realistically really don't actually have that great of weaponry so you know what? i'm gonna upgrade your guys's backups actually you know what's hell with it nah nah you guys can keep using those wrenches because those wrenches have to break eventually and you know better than just tossing them out you know what i'm saying uh we should have the materials here to do a full repair on the fuse box and get a little bit more durability going here and uh for a lot of bad stuff to happen so why don't we kick things off with the melee try to get some home runs on these suckers and these guys got the guns, so things are actually going relatively smoothly so far. So, uh, this is a great sign of progress. I like what I see. Let's get some home runs, shall we? Oh my god, that's a lot of enemies. A lot of zombies, but we already got one boss man down. Only a couple more boss mans to go. We still got plenty of band-aids. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please do not hit me with that. Luckily, when they do that move, that does slow them down quite a little bit, so it buys us some nice time. Sledgehammer is still looking in pretty good shape, so that's good. I think these two guys have both graduated to using their wrench. So it's going to be the melee gang, melee squad out here trying to wrap up the business in Irma Gerd. It also happens to be the naked squad at this point. Let's put on the little clothes that we have left and uh, just kind of accept the fact that 
we're gonna be naked for the most of the rest of this wave. So uh, that is not good. But we are continuing to make great progress over here. And oh, mama, hold on. This is a lot of things to deal with. Maybe we might want to switch on over a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not corner me. No, 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 no. Don't even think about doing that, please and thank you. These band-aids better last because holy hell, that was a crazy wave with a lot of high health things. All right. We're about halfway done. But we're making really good progress, and honestly, within a couple of episodes, we should have everything fixed up to 100%, which is going to be an amazing accomplishment that I am so excited to knock out. So far, I think we have knocked out two boss dinosaurs. So that's pretty good progress. This is probably going to be a giant wave coming up. There we got the little baby boss, kind of, if that makes sense. Oh, mama, just everyone's coming after me. No! Boys, I need y'all to be doing some more damage over here. All right, this is not good. That dude had one health. How are you going to leave my mortal nemesis with one health? I need a little bit more Ayutame than that. Ankylosaur, you almost done so. Holy hell. That dude went flying. Yeah, he's done so. How are we looking? We're almost there. The Band-Aid supply is, uh, well, not as high as it could be. That's for sure, but... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I was almost to death. Oh, this is not going well. This is not going well. Oh, ho, ho. We're running up. We're running low on band-aids, aren't we? All right, boys. This is where we maybe switch on over to the gun a little bit. Oh, try to outrun them, please. Finish off some of these guys. Guys, I need your help really badly. We have officially run out of band-aids at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. All right, they're all running for their freaking lives. Give me band-aids. Give me strength. Uh, we can take uh, that weapon, please. Where are the band-aids? Where are the band-aids? I have to accept the stakes. I got. I gotta get what I can take. Okay. Let's use a couple of those, equip this, use a couple more of those, all right. Mow down all of my enemies for daring oppose me. You will not be, no, I will, I will not accept opposers. Are, are we good? Are we surviving? Oh my God, I was actually starting to panic. That was taking a really bad turn. That's why armor is very good for this type of stuff. And we still got a couple here to clean up, but uh, we're going all out on the cleanup crew here because uh, our friends have kind of ditched us, which is not good. And all we're left with is stakes and a gun going out the American way. But, oh, that's not good. Uh, wow, that was definitely the closest call yet. That is why more guns is usually a great thing. And that's why we should have probably packed more guns, maybe more armor, maybe even more medical supplies, but against all odds, we've made it out of there. Hopefully we get some solid trophies in exchange for our struggle and struggle there was, oh no, anything good. Hey, we got, oh, I was gonna grab that or equip that. We got some armor, dude, all things considered, actually not too shabby. And then if we get the final, hey, we got one of the new shotties as well. All things considered, man. Things are going pretty well. I don't think there's any more bosses for us to wrap up. We're still running out here shoeless like a dang hippie <laughs> without pants. But uh, with that, I think that is a great point for us to go on and end this video off on before my phone decides to turn off and hopefully so I can get this video out to y'all without my phone imploding. Random dude, I, I had my midterm today too. That's why this video is a little bit late. I do apologize this week. Uploads might be a bit weird because I have uh, three midterms this week with AKA three huge tests of my college semester. So uh, wish me luck. But other than that, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Best of luck to you guys in Jurassic Survival with your own Battle Royale conquest, along with, uh, what you call fixing up this gate and all that. And speaking of Battle Royale, gonna be a cool video coming out tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned. But that's gonna wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys all the time for watching. Have a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.